Hello there guys and welcome back to another epic inexorable maths video. In this video we're looking at the reciprocal hyperbolic functions. So these are related to the hyperbolic functions of course, they're simply the reciprocal functions of them. So we, the normal hyperbolic functions we have shine, cosine and than or tangent, very very weird, or shine, cosh and than, however you want to pronounce them, however you want to say them. You can say them however you want because there is no official pronunciation for any of these guys. Now we know what shine, cosh, and than are. I have a video uh, that I'll leave in the description of this one uh, introducing you to shine, cosh, and than and their definitions. Today we're looking at cosec, sec, and cos, which are the reciprocal hyperbolic functions. They are the exact same as you would expect them to be based on the reciprocal trigonometric functions. So for example, cosec is the reciprocal of shine because cosec is the reciprocal of sine. Okay, sec is the reciprocal of cosh because sec is the reciprocal of cos. And finally, cos is the reciprocal of than because cot is the reciprocal of tan. Okay, and the definitions of cosec, sec, and cos are literally just the same definitions as shine, cosh, and than, but with the fractions flipped. So shine is e to the x minus e to the minus x over 2. So cosec is 2 over e to the x minus e to the minus x. It's literally just the, fr the fraction flipped over. That's what they are. So you can see these functions, uh, they have graphs, you can solve uh, hyperbolic equations. Uh, using them just like how you'd expect they're quite helpful they're pretty useful um, and uh, we can use the exact same uh, trigonometric identities using them as with the normal ones um, with some exceptions which we'll look at in future videos so trig identities are the same as hyperbolic identities with some exceptions now what let's look at the graphs of cosec sec and Koth, okay? So the first one, let's do cosec x. Based on the fact that, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw the original trig function. Let's do it. That's disgusting. I was going to do it in yellow. That's very silly. Uh, let's do it in purple. So the original trig function is the one in purple. So the graph of shine, as we've seen from the previous video, kind of looks like this. So it kind of, and again, I'll chuck the, uh, in a second, I'll chuck on the uh, the graphs so you can actually see them properly, the actual graphs, but it kind of looks like x cubed, right? It kind of looks like y equals x cubed. So what would we expect the reciprocal to be? Well, maybe we'd expect it to be something that looks a little bit like 1 over x cubed, and actually you'd be exactly correct. So really, the and again, you'll see it now, but the graph of cosec is just looking very similar to the graph of 1 over x cubed. It just kind of it just kind of looks like that. Awful drawing, absolutely awful drawing. So the one in black is cosec, the one in purple is uh, shine. Okay, let's have a look now at sec. So again in purple, Cosh looks like a little bit like the graph of x squared plus 1, kind of like that, roughly. So cosec, it's the reciprocal of that. It looks something like this. Again, it's not a very good drawing, so I will chuck it up on Desmos right now so you can see it. It goes through the point 0, 1 on the y-axis, and it is just the reciprocal of cosh amazing. Okay, and finally, let's have a look at Koth. Okay, so Koth is an interesting one. Koth looks a little bit like also the graph of y equals 1 over x cubed, but it actually has an asymptote at 1 and minus 1, which I'll elaborate on in a second. So, 
remember that um, than has an asymptote at 1 and minus 1 as well, but it's on the other side. Because than in purple, you'll see, than looks like this. And the asymptotes there are 1 and minus 1. Again, I'll chuck it up on Desmos right now so you can see it. But you can see the purple one, that's than, and the black one is cough, and it essentially just looks like that. And you get these graphs from just looking at the behavior of, you know, 2 over e to the x minus e to the minus x, um, as x gets big, as x gets small, near to zero, etc. And you can plot these graphs out. So that's the graph of cough. So you can see all of those there. Okay, brilliant. In the next video, we will look at the inverse functions and what they can do. They're really useful as well, especially for solving equations um, that are related to the hyperbolic functions. If you enjoyed this video, if you found it helpful, please like, subscribe, share with your friends and family, and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.